Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the week of October 11th through the 17th. I hope everybody is doing well. I just want to say I appreciate all the love you guys have been giving my way. Um, you guys are awesome. I also want to remind you that these readings are general and it may not resonate with you if it doesn't and you want a personal reading. Um, there are directions in the box below and that will zoom directly in on your energy. Also, you can check out your other astrological placements and signs and see if those readings resonate with you a little better. When you subscribe to the channel, that does set up an energetic link and I do tend to focus upon my subscribers. And so that sharing of energy will help me to um, pull your energy too. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, do so. Hit that bell on the top right corner and that way you'll be notified when I do drop your readings and let's get started. So I would like to go ahead and pull the energy for you, Cancer. I'm going to pull the energy of the person you're connected with. And then we're going to pull the mutual or the energy of the connection. So Spirit, can I have the energy of Cancer, please? Show me the energy of Cancer. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Magician. So you're manifesting something here. You're you're definitely working um, working your little magic. I love it, and you are manifesting an offer. But I feel like it's something that you have in the past been extremely concerned about. Um, I feel like you're you're kind of waiting for this offer to come through. You want a stable offer. You don't want just anything. And I feel like you know you're trying to keep your balance in the process. But I feel like whatever this was in the past, this, this uh, situation, it really caused you a lot of heartache. Um, what I can also tell you, Cancer, is that you are being guided in this. Um, there, you're being guided not only by spirit. We have ravens here, and ravens are generally messengers. And so not only are you being guided by spirit, but you're also being gui guided by at least one ancestor, if not more, somebody who has already passed over. And I feel like you're def definitely in a high uh, manifestation mode, and I feel like that's only going to grow by the end of the week. And I feel like you are definitely um, trying to create something lasting. You're trying to create. Um, you're trying to create your own world here. And I love that. That's good energy for you. Let's look at the energy of the person um, that you are connecting to. Show me the energy of the person Cancer is connecting to. All right, so they have the Two of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, or Page of Wands in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So your person is definitely trying to make a decision. Um, they have two twos. And so I feel like they're trying to make a decision. This has been a, a key thing for them in the past. I feel like um, they're, not, they're not really focused upon the guidance that is coming to them. So I feel like they feel like they're making these decisions in the dark, just kind of like, you know, they're blind. They, they don't know which way to go. They can't see which way to go. They're not listening to their intuition. And so as a result, they don't want to make the decision. And I feel like currently you may not be communicating. And if you are communicating, it's they're not telling you everything. Um, I also see that they definitely want a come back around with you. With the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, um, that, that's a comeback around. That's somebody who wants to come back and they, they have felt kind of left out in the cold in the past, abandoned. Um, and that's something that they're, they're very sure about. Um, they also are a little bit unbalanced. When that happened, when, when they were kind of left out in the cold with you, it caused a, a deep imbalance within them. And I feel as if they're trying to balance their energy. They're still not balanced though. I will tell you that. Um, and that's probably because they're not being very upfront about everything and they're also not really listening to, you know, spirit's guidance here. And I feel like you're both, you both have received guidance. My feeling is that this, 
occurred in the past and that they knew they had to make a decision. They weren't listening to the guidance. You were left in a, in a period where you were very sad and very distraught, but you were listening to guidance. And that's the difference here. Um, so I feel like you're kind of in a place where you're balanced, they're un imbalanced. You're manifesting and I feel like they're just kind of not in touch the way they need to be. Um, let's look at the energy of the connection. Yeah, so you have the Seven of Swords in reverse, and you have the Four of Cups. So, there was some deceit that took place here, and it was discovered. Um, something wasn't honest in this relationship, and it came out. And as a result, there was a missed opportunity. And so, that's kind of where the relationship is hovering right now. It, it's not really moving forward. It's just kind of in this acknowledgement of there being some form of deceit. And incidentally, again, we have the ravens here, and it's on your side. So, Cancer, when you were listening to your intuition, Spirit wanted you to know this. Spirit wanted you to understand what was taking place here. So, it's no accident that you, you kind of ferreted this out. Um, yeah, you were meant to know. But... The, the bottom line is it caused a, a missed opportunity. And you're kind of, you know, both of you are kind of still hovering in that situation where the beauty of this relationship is just not being seen and recognized right now because you haven't moved out of that trauma of what has taken place. So what is the blockage? Okay, so we have the Hermit in reverse, and we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, exactly. So, there was a betrayal. And so, the blockage is for the betrayal. The feelings of betrayal have to be released, and there has to be communication. So, I feel like both parties receded back. There was not communication. Um, and what is basically taking place here is that in order for this to now move forward, you have to communicate about what took place. There has to be communication both ways. Um, Cancer, I feel like you're going to have to really open up more. Um, your person is not really opening up the way they should either. Um, but both of you are going to have to release any kind of feelings of betrayal. Um, the Ten of Swords in reverse is a very, very good sign though. Because that means that, you know, whatever took place here, you're in the very final stages of it. Tens are about completion, and then we move back into the ace or the beginning. And so, I feel like, you know, things can move forward here with communication back and forth and with some realizations on both sides. And I think both sides have had some insight and some realizations during this time apart. Spirit, can I see the outcome for the week? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Six of Wands. Well, this is nice. Okay, so I feel like a decision will be made. The Two of Wands is all about choosing a direction, and I feel like um, you're both in that process. You're both choosing a direction. I feel like you're willing to move this forward with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. So, I don't feel like you're going to jump into anything, Cancer. I feel like you are going to take this pentacle, um, and I think that you're going to move forward with it. Um, you've decided this. You've decided the direction you want to go, but I don't think you're going to be making any really fast moves. I think you're going to be slow and methodical, and I think you're going to take your time about this. Um, and I think that as you go forward, you're going to be looking to see if the the things that you are offering in the relationship are actually producing yield for you. Um, now, the person you're dealing with here, I have to be honest with you, Cancer, they're a little bit more superficial than you. All the cross watchers are going to be mad, but whatever. Um, I feel like they've made a decision as well, but I feel like they are not reaching as deep within themselves seeking these answers as you are. Um, 
I just feel like they, they're they not as honest with themselves as they, they need to be. And therefore, that is also coming out in, in a dishonest communication somehow with you. I don't think it's meant to be. I just think that they're not in touch with their own feelings. So how are they possibly going to be as in touch with your feelings as they need to be? Um, that being said, I do feel that they, um, they have chosen a direction also. And I feel like they're feeling very victorious in this. They're feeling like it's a great decision. I feel like they're, they're going to be looking at this and saying, yeah, this is success. This is the direction I want to go. All right. Oh, nice. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're both focusing upon relationship. You're both focusing upon what would make you happy, focusing on family. Um, some of you may be even in a situation where you're deciding if you're going to blend a family. Um, but yeah, that's very nice energy. And that's the underlying energy here. So let's get some clarification. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Cancer, please? Yep, the Hermit in Reverse. We have that here in the Obstacle as well. And we have the Devil in Reverse. So why were you up in your head? Why were you why were you upset? Well, because there was no communication. And, you know, any communication that you did have, you realized was toxic. And so you were trying to release those energies. You were trying to gain insight. You didn't want anything that was toxic. Um, there was a realization that something here was really toxic. And I feel like um, that that is something that you want released. And so you're, you're very much um, concerned or you have been in the past primarily. And that's probably also why you felt betrayed because you felt like something happened here that was very toxic. Um, at the same time, I also think that you have realized that there is something in this relationship that is a little different from other relationships you've experienced. And I feel like you feel like it's a very, very strong connection. So I think there's a realization of that as well. Um, why is the Page of Pentacles here for Cancer? Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. So you've decided that you love this person. You've decided you love this person and you are willing to offer them, you know, something very small. Um, I feel like you're coming from a very loving place and with this Queen of Cups, um, this is you all over. This is definitely your energy. And I feel like you're stepping into your power here, Cancer. And I feel like you're coming from a really balanced place. And you're either waiting for an offer from them or you're, you're willing to offer or both. I feel like you're willing to offer them something, but I feel like you'll go very slow with it. Um, also with the Queen of Cups, um, keep in mind that the Queen of Cups is extremely intuitive. And so I feel like you definitely have been leaning upon your intuition and you've been listening to spirit and listening to um, your guides and, and at least one ancestor. Why is the magician here? Some of you guys might be doing some magic. Um, I will say that too. That's for a very few of you, but you know who you are. And if that's the case, you might be um, doing some magic and trying to bring the two of you together. So what are you manifesting here? And that's only for a few of you. Um, and you know who you are. All right, so um, what are you manifesting? You're manifesting a new beginning. You have a um, deep passion for this person, and I can tell that you are deeply attracted to them. Um, you're definitely physically attracted to them. Um, I feel like the sex was good, um, and I feel like, you know, you feel that this person is your soulmate. So you're, you're trying to manifest this relationship back in. All right. So, um, two of swords. Why is the two of swords here for the person cancer is dealing with? We have the empress in reverse and we have temperance. Okay, so I feel like your person is not really understanding their value. There's, a, or at least they haven't in the past. Um, and I feel like this missed opportunity between the two of you 
I feel it's because they didn't recognize your value either. Um, you got to remember, Cancer, that it all begins and ends with self-value, self-love. So if your person is not really um, understanding their own value, loving themselves, they're not going to be able to, to value you in the way that they need to either. And so there is a air here of them having to make a decision and they didn't want to make this decision. Um, and I feel like they may have, they may have breadcrumbed you and I feel like they didn't value you um, in the way they should have. And I feel like it blocked this beginning. It blocked the abundance that they could have had. And so healing is definitely something that um, needs to happen. I do feel like they are on a journey of healing. Um, why is the Page of Wands here? Okay, so we have Strength in Reverse. We have the Seven of Wands in Reverse. And we have the Ace of Swords. So they may have felt defeated. They may currently even feel defeated, but I feel like they are putting their their guard down. Um, where, whereas they may not have been communicating with you in the past, or they may not have been communicating um, very well with you, or very accurately might be the best way to say it. Um, I do feel like that's going to change. Um, because the path that they're on is not going to lead to healing. And I think they're beginning to realize that. There's something within themselves that they really need to conquer. And I think that's that's been very hard for them. Also, not communicating with you has been hard for them. So I feel like they're going to, you know, basically try to eliminate these obstacles. They're putting their guards down. And I think you're going to get some very clear and honest communication. I think they're starting to see things more clearly than they have in the past. Um, can I get three cards for the final energy? Yeah, they know the truth of, of this, you know, connection. And I think that, um, I think they're surprised that it, it, it snuck up on them, basically. One more card for the... We have the Three of Cups, we have the Five of Swords, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, this person has definitely made, <laughs> made a decision that they're going to fight for you. Um, I do feel like a little bit of their ego is involved in this. They, they definitely want to bring this back together. You have the Five of Pentacles in reverse along with the Three of Cups. So, the Three of Cups is a reunion card. Five of Pentacles in reverse is a reunion card. They strongly want to come back together with you. This is a decision they've already made. Um, they will fight for the relationship, but I, I do think that something is triggering their ego a little bit here um, in doing that, and they do not want to see you single. Um, they've made up their mind about that too, that it, it, it feels somewhat threatening. So if you have been going out with someone else, Cancer, they're noticing that, they're not happy about that. They don't, they don't want to lose you to someone else. All right, so can I get three cards for the relationship, please? One more card. All right, so I think both parties want to, to have a new start at this. You, um, we have the fool in the middle. I think that um, when you look back at this cancer, um, I think that you're trying to put the deceit, the things that were not um, done on the up and up, I feel like you're trying to put that in the past. I do think you feel that this person is a soulmate and we see that twice. So you definitely have a strong connection here. We see that three times. And I feel like you're wanting to, you know, take a leap of faith into a new beginning with this person. Now, they want to have this new beginning with you, too. You both do. Um, but I feel like they feel somehow that they're stuck, that they can't move forward with this. 
And so if that's the case, they are afraid that this is going to be that missed opportunity. Um, so there's an air of them feeling stuck for some reason. Um, can I get three cards for the obstacle? Okay, so we have the Ten of Coins, we have the Eight of Cups, and then we have the Seven of Rods, or Eight of Rods, I'm sorry. Okay, so in order for this to move forward, I feel like, um, I feel like you're going to have to walk away from some things. So. Um, for you, I feel like, you know, you're going to have to walk away from this feeling of betrayal. And I feel like, you know, there may also be an, uh, a, a, I don't know if fear is the right word. Uh, it feels like, you know, on one level, you just want to walk away from the whole thing. And I can tell you, Cancer, your other party does too, but neither of you are doing that. Okay. So I feel like, you know, the challenge is to not walk away from this, not to become overwhelmed and to not walk away from it. And I feel like that if, if you overcome that challenge, if you, you know, can give up these feelings of betrayal and you don't walk away from it, I feel like you could very well have, you know, a good relationship with this person. However, your person is also resisting that urge to walk away. Um, they too have to give up some feelings of betrayal. So I'm not sure what that's associated with, but um, I do see that they're also, they're not communicating as well as they could be. And so that's something that they would have to rectify. We see that in their energy twice, even though there's a strong desire to communicate, we see in two different areas that their lack of communication is, you know, gonna, it's gonna make you wanna walk away, Cancer. So that's something that has to be addressed. Um, can I have three cards for the final outcome? Okay, so Cancer, um, I do feel like that there is a decision here, um, and I feel like you both are making a decision. Now, for you, you're willing to offer your pentacle, but it's going to be, you know, you're willing to offer stability, you're willing to offer something, but I feel like um, you're moving very slowly because you feel like there's things that you don't know. There, you feel like there's things that are still being hidden from you. And so I think you're, you're going to be very, very cautious. Um, the person that you're dealing with here, I feel like they're kind of waiting. They're in a waiting mode. They're waiting for something to happen here, but they're feeling very victorious with regards to you. And, but there is something they're waiting for. They're waiting. And I feel like, um, you know, this, this area of, you know, five of pentacles here, there's some kind of a loss. There's some kind of a loss that's going to take place. And I feel like you're both trying to avoid this loss, but in different areas. I feel like for you, Cancer, you feel like the loss is in this connection. I feel like for this person that the loss might be something that's outside of this connection. And so, you know, and you're both kind of holding on to this thought in the back of your mind if this doesn't work out, I'm going to walk away. So it's kind of like you're giving the universe conflicting messages here. So be aware of that. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Swords. So, you know, try not to stay up in your head about this. Try to kind of let it go. I know you feel that this is the, the right person for you. But, you know, you're going to have to kind of let this unfold in the way it needs to. 
And for this person, I feel like communication is a huge issue with this person. Um, for some reason, they're feeling very stuck. And I don't know why that is, but I think they're waiting for that to resolve in order to move forward. But communication is certainly a huge issue with this person. And it's something that they have to overcome. All right, so let's look at their energy. Okay, it says dogs getting together with friends. So your person might be talking with friends. They might be trying to get um, some kind of information, um, you know, like seeking guidance from friends or whatever. Or they may just be, you know, using it as a diversion. But I see them actually being very social. For you, we have May. So I don't know if something occurred in May. I don't usually get timing cards, but um, either something occurred in May or will occur in this coming May. So you'll know um, you'll know if it applies to you. Hmm. And for the relationship itself, it says flowers, happiness. So there is a lot of happiness that can take place in this relation can relationship, Cancer. Um, I think that the two of you are really in a position where you're trying to, you know, after a period of not really talking about things, kind of going within and trying to figure it out, you're both trying to figure out how to su successfully navigate this. The thing I, I will caution you, though, is that you're sending conflicting messages and your person is as well to the universe when you have that that idea of if it doesn't work out i'm just gonna i'm gonna ghost them i'm gonna walk away i'm not gonna you know all of that because it's sending conflicting messages so anyway i hope the reading has been helpful to you cancer and um if you haven't already subscribed please do so drop me a comment um, i do read all your comments like and share the video and i will see you next time namaste